Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Life with Patty. <clears throat> and happy Saturday, everybody. So I'm getting ready to go to a crafts fair today, but I have a subscriber who, she actually went on YouTube and Googled this color book, Baby Fairies, because she was wanting to buy it, and she wanted to see if anybody had done a flip through, and I had. And so she watched my video and then said that she then wanted to buy the book and also that she was considering, I mean, that she asked if I would share the pages that I've already completed in this book. So let me tell you, I do the same thing when I really want to see what a book is going to be like on the inside because Amazon only a lot of times will give you one or two pictures. Sometimes they give you just the front cover and the back cover like that. Okay, so you kind of get a little bit of an idea, but it doesn't really give you, you know, every single picture and what they're like. That's why I like to do flip throughs of new books for people or books that I have worked on and show them the whole book so that they can see what I have done. So I've only done six pages in this book. And let me tell you, this book is not easy because of the grayscale. Now, grayscale can sometimes make it easier, but sometimes it can make it harder. Um, this, for instance, the grayscale is light enough that nothing on this page would be hard for me. I love to use alcohol markers the best. Um, so here's the first page that I've colored in this book. And this one, I colored on 713 of this year. And to me, this one turned out great, except for the hair was a little too yellow. But I still really enjoyed this because the skin tones came out so, so great. So I did love this page. I mean, if you are really good with pencils, this book is great for that because you can do a lot of shading. Here again, I was happy with even the wings um, and the skin tone here really wasn't happy with the hair again. So I wish I would, I, maybe I just need to be more patient. Uh, watch some tutorials on hair. Here was my third page. I just did this one on 10-5. And so um, I loved her skin tone again. I love the hot pink hair. Um, but the the um, pumpkin, the grayscale was so dark it was black. So I don't know if I should have tried to color it in orange or not. But mm, it didn't turn out as great as I want. But the fairy herself... I think turned out great. This one I did on 818 and um, I like how this one turned out. I used um, a little eyeshadow on her eyes in this one, but I still liked how it turned out. I think that one's so sweet. I just don't have time to color them all. And then after I color in one book for a while, sometimes I get tired and I want to go on to a different book. So this is also showing, if anybody else has never seen this book, um, this one, I really liked this one. This one turned out so cool. <laughs> That's a cute one, too. Maybe I'm done with everything I've colored in here. I'm not sure. Oh, I just finished this one last yesterday. Um, It was okay. <clears throat> I, the hair, I used too dark of a brown. But other than that, it was okay. They're just so cute. Yeah, I think that's all I've colored in here so far. Look at that one. Oh, 
Yep, that's it. That's the rest of the book. So those are the six that I colored in this book, and I hope you enjoyed watching the video and looking at the pages I completed. Now I'm off to wash dishes and get ready to go to the crafts fair. So I hope you guys all have a great day. It's going to be 95 here today. Yikey, yikey. But then Monday it's going to go down to 72. So yeah, huge change in weather is coming. So all right, you guys have a great day. Take care. I'll see you back here real soon. Bye-bye.